all of the tanks. Think about all of the tanks that are available. Astaroth, Ziri, Shaba, Rufus, all of the tanks. Aurora, Galahad, whatever. All of the tanks that are in the game, they already have four to five skins, right? They already have those skins. Corvus still has one to two more skins to get. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, I want to talk about the tank Corvus why he's so impactful and by the end of this video i'm gonna have you convinced that he's the tank that you need to be leveling in 2022 no matter what version of the game that you're on facebook and web which is what i'm showing right now or on mobile which we will discuss as well now corvus is part of a specific group of heroes on facebook and web he's a undead hero and over on and over on hero wars mobile he's part of the way of eternity faction. Now, a little while ago, I did a video discussing why I feel like the Way of Eternity on Hero Wars Mobile is going to get the most upgrades, the most opportunities. It has the highest potential of all of the factions in 2022. I thought that the next hero or one of the heroes in 2022 was going to be a Way of Eternity hero. And we know for certain that Morrigan is getting a quick update, uh, I believe in May sometime. The next hero that's coming to Hero Wars Mobile is Fafnir. He's a, he's a Way of Honor faction. However, we do know that Iris is being teased uh, as of the last Hero Wars TV episode. Iris is going to be a Way of Eternity hero. And while she's probably not going to be the same as she is on Hero Wars Facebook and web, I would imagine she's going to be a very powerful addition to anybody building a Way of Eternity or Undead team. Now, I don't know that she's going to be undead on Hero Wars Facebook and web. I don't know if they're going to change that over. I don't know anything about that. So before we talk about the skills and why I feel like Corvus is going to be the best tank for you to level if you need a tank or if you're just starting the game and you, you want to get a tank, let's talk about the ways to get Corvus. Unfortunately, there are not many easy ways to get Corvus on mobile. As of right now, you can get him in the dungeon shop. You can get his soul stones in the dungeon shop with dungeon coins. And you only get a little bit of dungeon coins every day. And generally speaking, everybody's going to be spinning those dungeon coins on Titan skin stones. And if you're not, you probably should be. Corvus is not an easy hero to get on Hero Wars mobile. Therefore, any opportunity you can get to get his soul stones through an event, uh, any kind of purchasable bundle, I would definitely recommend it. I, I do not feel this strongly about literally any other tank in the game in 2022. I love Astaroth. I think Cleaver is probably the best overall tank. Ziri is great against physical damage teams. Rufus is fantastic against magic damage teams. There's all these hybrid tank options, but listen, Corvus is the tank of the future. Over on Facebook and web, you can only get his soul stones out of the heroic chest. However, at the end of every month, you do get one of these 28 day soul stone chests, 50 soul stones of your choice you can get corvus out of here so it's really easy once per month to get 50 soul stones from corvus and there's a lot of events throughout the year on hero wars mobile that will allow you to get any soul stone you want with the exception of a couple like cleaver jet and iris or the newest hero whatever it may be if you're watching this video way in the future so corvus is significantly easier to get on facebook than he is on mobile so let's talk about why corvus counters everybody the skills on Facebook and web are very similar to those on mobile, Hero Wars mobile. You have the AoE damage dealing ultimate hits the front line and decreases defenses of the enemy, the armor, the magic defense, and the dodge. You can see here on mobile that it's the same thing. It's an enemy front line damage dealing attack reduces the enemy armor, magic defense, and dodge. This is reason number one why he's going to be a fantastic catch-all tank. He's going to work well in any team. If you have a magic team, he's going to reduce the enemy front line's magic defense. If you have a physical damage team, this is going to reduce the enemy front line's armor. If you have an enemy that's dodging a whole bunch, then this hero is going to reduce the enemy front line's dodge pretty pretty well, right? That's a nice all-around ability. The green ability increases physical and magic attack of allied eternity heroes. If we look at the Facebook and web, it's the same thing. Increases the undead allies' physical and magic attack. So it's a nice group buff for, you know, his entire faction or special class or tribe or whatever you want to call it. We're going to skip the blue ability because that's the big one. The violet ability, when an ally's health drops below 20%, Corvus moves them to the center, can be triggered once every uh, every eight seconds. Here on Hero Wars Mobile, it's the same ability when an ally's health drops below 20%, Corvus moves them to the center. There are some very specific use cases why this is important. It doesn't matter for every team. It's going to only matter for some teams. That's not really why Corvus counters anybody. And if you are any kind of Hero Wars player, for long then you guys know that the altar of souls this altar right here this this is the altar that corvus conjures and it does retaliation damage to the enemy every time an enemy hero does damage to corvus or one of his allies this altar does damage 
right back in the form of pure damage. So you cannot mitigate this damage in any way. It cannot be dodged. It can't be reduced by armor. It can't be reduced by magic defense. Every single time an enemy attacks, this will do pure damage. And the reason why I'm stressing that by saying it again is I want to make it very clear that this is going to be effective against any hero that does multiple attacks at once, multiple area of effect hits at once, or that attacks very fast. So I'm gonna jump over to the Facebook side of things and I'm just gonna go down the list, taking a look at the different heroes. Kark is one of the few heroes who attacks kind of slow. He does really, really big hits but very slowly, all right? And he can ramp up as the fight goes on, but Kark is one of the few heroes that Corvus is not a counter for, and he's my absolute favorite hero. That's why I kind of started with him. Astaroth also really doesn't do a lot of area of effect attacks, but Corvus's partner, Morrigan, hard counters Astaroth. So there is a built-in synergy there with another undead or way of eternity hero. But as you start going down the list, Faceless hits three enemies, all right? He's gonna use this ability constantly. His power throw is going to throw the enemy up in the air, damage and stun multiple enemies. Every enemy that this stun hits, which could be three to five of the enemy lineup, the altar will counterattack and pure damage to Faceless. Aurora's ultimate does area of effect damage. Her blue ability does damage to all rivals in its way. That's an area of effect hit. That's hitting multiple enemies with one single attack. The Rainbow Halo, this violet ability, is going to explode damaging nearby enemies. A another attack that hits multiple enemies. Corvus is a definite counter to Aurora. Martha, most healers are going to be that way, but she does speed up your allies. And if you are attacking faster, that means the enemy Corvus altar is going to be wrecking you faster. So Corvus isn't directly a counter to Martha, but if your allies are attacking faster, that's exactly the kind of thing that Corvus's altar will counter. Isaac on Facebook and web at least does massive area of effect attacks, hitting multiple enemies every single time he attacks. Jorgen hits the enemy front line. Kai, massive area of effect magic attack damage. Cleaver, hitting the entire front line with his putrefaction, with his mutilation. Helios, Helios is a fantastic counter to critical hit teams. However, his flaming retribution causes his solar wind to attack a whole lot very quickly. Celeste, her cursed flame ability attacks the enemy lineup a lot very quickly. Yasmin, a lot of really small attacks very quickly. Morgan and her skeletons, the skeletons don't have that much health. They're gonna get dropped very quickly. Iris. Iris on Facebook and web is going to attack the enemy lineup, all five enemies, very frequently. Very weak to Corvus. And the list goes on and on. Who else is a popular hero? Satori attacks the entire enemy team with his spirit purification. Even Judge is hitting multiple enemies. Ching Mao. She does a lot of frontline damage, sure, but she also does a burn attack. This is going to set the enemy on fire, damaging them over five seconds. That's a lot of small attacks very quickly. As we go down this list of heroes, and there's about 50, 55 heroes, it would be easier to pick out heroes in this lineup that Corvus doesn't hard counter. In fact, there's only a very few handful. You got to count in the heroes that don't actually do much attack damage to the enemy lineup. Like I mentioned, like Nebula and Sebastian, the new hero on Hero Wars Mobile, Faf isn't going to do a lot of attacking. He does a lot of boosting and defending of his own allies. You have a handful of heroes that do really slow, big attacks or that target only one person with their attacks. Kark is a big, slow attacker. You have Zhu that only attacks one target at a time. Elmir is another hero that does a lot of attacks to just one single target. But as you go down the list of heroes, Daredevil, area of effect, fire damage, explosion damage, crits. Marcus does his holy wave attack that attacks the entire team. Hard counter to Kira. <laughs> don't, don't use Kira or Heidi or Darkstar or Artemis. Astrid and Lucas only attacks one hero at a time. Astrid and Lucas is a nice counter to Corvus. But there are so many heroes. There are so many heroes in this game that attack multiple enemies at once or that attack one enemy a lot very quickly or multiple enemies very quickly like in the case of Kira. And Corvus just getting his spring skin and Corvus just getting his spring skin just a little while ago he got uh, physical attack on Facebook and web and on mobile he got armor. He still has one to two more skins to get before he's all said and done. That means that when it comes to the tanks that are available in the game all of the tanks think about all of the tanks that are available Astaroth, Ziri, Shaba, Rufus all of the tanks Aurora, Galahad, whatever. All the tanks that are in the game, they already have four to five skins, right? They already have those skins. Corvus still has one to two more skins to get. Now, if he gets a health skin or an armor skin on Facebook and web and a health skin or whatever, if he gets more damage reduction or more survivability, Corvus is going to be bonkers, <laughs> overpowered, overpowered. It is for this reason, guys. It is for this reason that you need to be getting Corvus leveled up. You need him. All right. When it comes down to the list of heroes, there are so few heroes that he does not counter. He counters 75 to 80% of the heroes that are in the game. All right. Just him, just, just your tank. 
keep him alive. If you have a way to keep him alive effectively, if you have a great team behind him, he's going to be he's going to be absolutely insane by the end of 2022. I guarantee it. I guarantee he's going to be the best tank by the end of the year or whenever he gets his fourth skin. Got a little riled up. Got a little riled up. So guys, uh, I hope you found this video informational, educational, what have you. Uh, we need to discuss ways to counter Corvus. I've done that a couple of times already, but maybe we'll do that in my live stream later on this week. If you did find this video helpful, please consider leaving a like. We do publish videos every single day, and we also live stream Monday through Friday. So if you don't want to miss any of those live streams or the daily videos, please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. Hope everybody's having a fantastic April so far. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.